So I use that video to illustrate a main point about how powerful counterinsurgencies are. If you listen to what he said at the end, better than the US Marines, hey? If you are aligned with the population and you are embedded with the population, you have security. And I'll get to that later on. Let me just start by reading this. The best writings on counterinsurgency share with uh, the best sex manuals the fact that their authors generally have some personal experience in their, uh, their effort. Anyway, uh, I started my career as a uh, Marine Special Forces uh, enlisted man, served in Desert Storm, Latin America, uh, three tours in Afghanistan, uh, deployments to Iraq, Ethiopia, other places. I speak Dari, worked with uh, for President Karzai in 2006, retired, started a uh, company in order to understand social risk. And uh, I'll talk about that, but I really just want to focus on counterinsurgency, and that's uh, why uh, I'm here today. Before we talk about counterinsurgency, let's learn about insurgencies. Insurgencies are organized use of subversion, violence, uh, to seize or nullify or challenge political control or authority in any region. So we usually talk about, let me back that up, we talk about insurgencies and we think about Iraq and Syria, Nigeria, Boko Haram, ISIS, Uganda, Lord, the LRA, Lord's uh, Resistance Army, Afghanistan. Uh, if anybody wants to believe that Afghanistan is an insurgency, we can talk about that offline, it's not. Um, but there's insurgencies happening all across the world. They are uh, in Bangladesh, in India, uh, Indonesia, Peru. Latin America has over 36 uh, active insurgencies going on right now. Um, it's not a unique phenomenon. And what we need to understand is uh, that these things are happening, where they're happening, and how to counter them. 